In this, they have given before depreciation and taxation means we have to go from the beginning. Once you got your profit, whatever depreciation you have already deducted, add back. Once you're done with payback period, we'll go with your compilation of ARR. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with us from First Street College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session four and your unit four of financial management. And under financial management, we are discussing capital budgeting. In today's session, we go with the payback period and accounting rate of return. These two topics we will discuss in today's session. So we'll go with the agenda, the concept, meaning, and we'll go for a problem. So the project will cost you rupees 6 lakh, will have a life of 6 years, no salvage value. The company's tax rate is 30% under straight line method of depreciation. The estimated income before depreciation and from all this. See, in this they have given before depreciation and taxation means we have to go from the beginning. What is the beginning? Remember, your whatever income is there, in this you have to minus depreciation, minus taxation, then add back depreciation. Hope you are clear. Now, so how much we have? 1 lakh, 1 lakh 20 thousand, 1 lakh 40, 150, 160 and we have 1 lakh 70 thousand. Compute the following payback period and average rate of return. So what is the rate of return percentage they have given it is? 12%. Now we are in the second slide. In this, we have to calculate your total net cash flow. How to calculate your total net cash flow? In this, we have year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we have your cash before depreciation. It is already given. See, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 20, 140, 150, 160 and we have 1 lakh 70 thousand. Now, we have taken everything and depreciation it is around 20 percent. We don't go with 20 percent. In this what happens? What is the value? The value is 6 lakh. Number of years what? Number of years we goes with 6 years. Divide by 6 it will be 1 lakh. The percentage is not required. Now, so we go with what? 1 lakh for all. Now, 1 lakh minus 1 lakh, it will be nil. 120 minus 1 lakh, 20,000. And 40, 50, 60, and 70. After deducting this thing, now, we have to calculate 30% tax. On zero, it will be zero. 20,000, it will be how much? 246, 6,000. Like that, you are supposed to calculate your depreciation. Once you're done with your depreciation, 20,000 minus 6, 14. 40 minus 12, 28. Similarly, minus, you will get profit after tax. Once you got your profit, whatever depreciation you have already deducted, add back. Added all your depreciation, you got nil plus 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 14, 128, 135, 142, and 1 lakh 49,000. Clear? Hope you are clear. This is all about net cash flow we calculated. Now, once you're done with your net cash flow, we'll go with your cumulative cash flow. See? You got 1 lakh, 1 lakh 14, 128, 138, 142, 149. We'll go for that. 1 lakh, 114, 128, 135, 142, 149. Add back cumulative 1 lakh plus 114, 214. Plus 128, 342. Plus 135, 477. Plus 142, 619. Plus 149, it will be 7 lakh. 68. What is your total profit? 7,68. Now, so what is your investment? Your investment is 6 lakh. When do you get your 6 lakh? First year? No. Second? No. Third year? No. Fourth? No. In between fourth and fifth year, you will get back your amount. Now, 
you have 477 still how much you need you need 6 lakh still you need 1 lakh 23000 needed what is the difference between 477 and 619 477000 and 6 lakh 19000 you will get around 1 33, 142 something you will get. We'll check this. Yes, you need 123 and the difference is 142. If you divide, you will get 0 0.83. Four years and 0 0.83, you got 4.86 years. Hope you are clear. Yes, we got 4.86 years. So these are your calculation of payback period. Now, once you're done with payback period, we'll go with your computation of ARR. What is your ARR in this? Your ARR is like your 1,28,000. How come you got your formula is average profit divided by average investment into 100. Normally, we go with your discounted factor. Here, we are not going with discounted factor. We are going directly. Now, how come you got average profit 128? What is your total profit? Total profit is 7,68,000. See, this one, 7,68,000. Divide by number of years, 6. You will get 1,28,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so what is your average investment? Your investment is what? 6 lakh. Average means what? Divided by 2. It will be 3 lakh. So take 3 lakh, 1 lakh 28,000 into 100 divided by 3 lakh. You got your final answer 42.66. 42.66 percentage. The expected rate of return is 12 percent and ARR is 42.66 percent. The ARR is more than, more than the expected rate of return. Therefore, the project is accepted. Why it is accepted means it is not rejected, it is accepted. Why? Because your ARR is more than whatever your annual rate of return. That's why we have to accept this project. Now, I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your problem, your solution, your solution part, payback period. Your payback period is 4.86 your annual rate of return. Normally, we should go with discounted value, but here we have gone directly. This is all about your today's session. Please work out at home. Thank you.